we had 32 of the most prestigious college players with some of the best resumes in basketball history coming into this tournament. That 32 has been dwindled down to four as we are doing our final four here in this episode. Welcome back to the climax of our College Legends 1v1 tournament. The first matchup we have are the two top guards making out of the guards and forwards section. We have Oscar Robertson, the number one overall seed. He put down sharpshooters JJ Redick and Steph Curry in rounds one and two in the clinch his spot. He made a pass to defensive specialist Gary Payton, so he's very battle tested on both sides of the basketball. Now we have Jimmer Fredette, the Cinderella of this entire tournament, the 14th seed defeating Jerry West, Allen Iverson, and Paul Pierce in some of the most exciting games of the entire tournament. Jimmer has been a part of them. I think it's finally time we go down to San Antonio, Texas. We are in the Final Four arena where not only the men's basketball Final Four is taking place, but our Final Four is taking place. Oscar Robertson, the number one seed, gets the ball first. And in typical Oscar fashion, he begins the game with a layup and a stop. Now here's Oscar driving to the basket. Once again, his bread and butter this entire tournament has been driving to the basket. He's made threes here and there when he really needed them, but it's always come down to his layup finishing ability. He's also getting stopped on defense here early. Jimmer missing two threes. Oscar also missing one now. That would make it 4 nothing if that would have went down. Providing all the momentum in Oscar's favor. Now here's Jimmer trying to return the favor with a layup of his own. That will be unsuccessful. 2 nothing game. Oscar makes it 3 nothing. The 6-5 Oscar is giving trouble to Jimmer inside as we all expected. But Jimmer now with a acrobatic finish. 3-1 game. Oscar driving past Jimmer and... Before we should get started, I should mention that the semifinal games here in the Final Four are going to 15. I'm throwing in a little ripple. First one, 15 wins. Still going to win by two. You still have to win by two. But back to the action. Oscar leaves that layup short. The second effort will prove to be very important there as he puts in another basket from underneath. 6-1 to one game. Jimmer wants to drive. Can't believe he put that one in, huh? If this was in a game, that most likely would have been an A1, as Oscar looks to respond. It's a 2 to 6 game, as he floats that one in there. A little post hook inside. Oscar's got all the moves on offense that you want from a scoring guard. Jimmer, with a hand in his face, puts in a very crucial two pointer, however. Jimmer having trouble early on scoring baskets, as he's under 30% for the game, as it's been the exact opposite for Oscar. Floats in another finish right there. Jimmer with back-to-back -back twos, however, keeping him in the game. Six to eight game. Oscar driving inside, finishing with the right hand. Nine to six game. Jimmer with still plenty of time here to get back in the game. As he pulls up short there from about six feet out. Makes good on that jump shot inside. Speaking of inside, though, Oscar goes back inside. 10-7 game immediately off the check. Jimmer with another crucial three-pointer or two-pointer as we were playing twos and ones, of course. Jimmer shot 39% from deep in his career, 44% from deep in his junior year alone. But Oscar attacking again, making it 11-9. But Jimmer would not go down without a fight. The 14th seed seeming to give troubles to anybody he comes in contact with during this tournament, even the number one seeded Oscar. 12 to 10 game after the post hook goes. Jimmer trying to tie it up. That one would just barely rim out. Oscar with the cross, putting it back left. That goes in swiftly, 13 to 10 game. Jimmer leaving that layup short. Oscar could win it here with a two. He will try that two from way downtown. 15 to 10, that'll still Jimmer's fate. Jimmer Mania stops short here in the final four. Three players remain. That'll be dwindled down to two after this game between the top seed, Lou Alcindor, and Wilt Chamberlain. Let's see how these two guys got here. Lou Alcindor, one of the best college players of all time, took down Psycho T, who gave him a scare in the first round. Then he easily handled DeAndre Ayton and Tim Duncan. Will Chamberlain has a resume that 
It's no small feat either how he got here. He had to make a comeback on Ralph Sampson just to defeat him. He also got past Carmelo and Larry Bird in some of the tightest games of the tournament. That Carmelo game, that's, that was something special to watch. If you didn't see that, go back and watch that. But he's seen guys that can beast on the inside. He's seen sharpshooters that work well on the perimeter. So if anybody can knock off the top seed in the big man bracket, Wilt's surely your guy. Speaking of Wilt, he puts in a spin layup, tying it up at one here early. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Lou Alcindor, whichever one you prefer, will be tough to stop on the inside, no matter who you are, even if your name is Will Chamberlain. With his own spin layup, however, he will tie up the game after a second effort. And I know early in this ball game, Will Chamberlain's offensive mojo is really working as he puts in a layup with a little kiss off the glass, but it would really be his defense that would take over this game early and often. I know that was only one block, but you'll see why in just a second it's starting to become apparent isn't it Wilt walking up on the defensive end he sends that one to the third row but Wilt's defensive prowess would not end there he forces a miss then it's one block for Wilt two blocks for Wilt and manages to also secure the rebound I desperately want another look at this no one's had a play like this on Lou Alcindor yet this whole tournament but Wilt staying strong and Immediately after that, he put in a layup, making it 4-2. Unfortunately, the NBA did not record block shots till the 1973-74 season. So unfortunately, we may never be able to fully appreciate just how good of a shot blocker Wilt was. Kareem would score though, but it wouldn't take long for Wilt to answer. 5-3 game. Wilt Chamberlain goes inside again, fades away, no good. That trademark fade away would not go, but the second effort, he would make good on. And now here's a block from Alcindor, as he can't get the rebound, however, Wilt trying another spin layup, this one would go again. Lou Alcindor, driving baseline, Wilt shuts it off, but he will still drop in a layup, blanketed by Wilt. 6-5 game, now this would be a 7-5 game after the up and under works well for Wilt. Once again, trying to use that power and muscle, here's Lou Alcindor leaving that one short, another good defensive stand by Wilt Chamberlain. On the left wing, what do you know? Another spin, and he gets Lou Alcindor there bad. He turned him around. Wilt looking good right now, 8-5. to five. But of course, his defense would come into play many times throughout this game, and this block would just be another testament to that. As he tries a spin layup of his own, Lou Alcindor, but Wilt will block that one. <laughs> Unbelievable the showing that Wilt is putting on and then he finishes through some contact it looked like 9 to 5 game Wilt with his fifth block of the contest But Lou Alcindor will put it in now a fake spin Lou Alcindor returning the favor with a block But look at that shot you don't see Wilt Chamberlain stepping out and hitting jump shots very much But he uses the glass and looks like he's done it many times before Wilt Chamberlain recording a six block and a layup to boot. 11 to 6 game. Wilt needs four more points to punch his ticket to the final four. It wouldn't happen without a fight, however. That hook shot would not go. It's an 11 to 7 game. Alcindor resetting the ball. And I think the frustration was mounting after this play. Lou Alcindor gets blocked again, but he gets the rebound, puts it right back on Wilt's head. Definitely angry after all of the block shots. Blue All Cinder just had enough and slams it down on Will. Puts him on his tush. 11 <laughs> 8 game. Well, this quiets some of the momentum from Wilt as there's another block, but Wilt does not get scared even after the poster puts in that second effort. Now, Wilt here is, here he is backing down, taking a page out of All Cinder's book using that sky hook that we surprisingly have not seen much from. Lou Alcindor today as there is eight blocks for Will Chamberlain but like I was saying we haven't seen that sky hook today from Alcindor even once yet well is he gonna try it again no but he tries a fade away and that's good 14 to 8 it's game point for Wilt he records nine blocks but Alcindor will still put in that layup one more away from double digit blocks can Wilt record 10 
No, he does not get 10 blocks in this possession, but he does get the stop, and that's what really matters. 14-9 game. Well, looking for his ticket to be punched to the championship game, and it does. He does it in style, too. A spin layup, recording 9 blocks while he's at it. Lou Alcindor goes home in the Final Four loss. A disappointing performance from him. Now we are going to have our championship game go to 21 points between Oscar and Will Chamberlain. All of the ankle breaking moves, all of the dunks, all of the posters, all of the game winners, all of the upsets. It's time that they finally come to fruition in one final game between the one seated Oscar Robertson who begins with the ball versus the three seated Will Chamberlain. He begins this game just like he has pretty much every other game, Oscar seems to always take the exchange and go right at the defense to begin every matchup. Wilt will tie it up. And Oscar will try to step back in the paint, no good. Wilt clears the ball. He goes right at Oscar, tries a fake spin, puts down that shoulder, and scores once again with the defense draped all over him. Almost like he's not even there, it's going to be hard for Oscar to do anything on the inside on both offense and defense. So he tries to step it out with a jump shot. The Wilts having none of that. He can't save it, but it's going to be plays like that that's going to lead Wilts to this victory if he continues down that path. But now here's Oscar. That jump shot will clang off the back iron. Will clears the ball. Goes right. Will he try another spin layup that's been working so well for him in this final four? No, but he tries a little left handed hook, and that'll be good. Three to one game. Oscar. Powerful move inside, hop steps, gets blocked, but he tries the 15-foot jump shot, which is good. Both sides trading blows going back and forth early on. Wilt, that one will just rim out, but the second effort will be successful. Oscar takes the check, goes to the left wing, surveys the court, tries the crossover, but Wilt stays in front of him. But finally a little separation as he just gets past Wilt and puts in a layup. Now we'll, we'll leave that layup short. Finally, a stop on the inside for Oscar. A 4-3 game. A layup could tie it. He tries that layup. A rejection for Wilt. What a surprise, but hey, he got it back. He'll try to go right. Goes back left. Drops in a finish, nodding it up at 4. That layup will just rim in though. 5-4 to four game. Wilt taking the lead right back out of Oscar's hands. But Oscar in similar fashion, floats in a layup. He gets Will reaching too, a nice hesitation move leading to the finish. It's all fives here, as Wilt tries a tough, tough post hook from almost behind the backboard. I could not believe he made that shot. Everything's going right for Wilt in this final four. Oscar trying his luck on the inside once again, and he gets a finish to fall. A 6-6 six six tie, meaning we've already had four ties in this game already. A competitive championship match, as we all expected. Wilt gets the lead and records a block, but not before Oscar ties it up. Five ties in this game so far. 7-7 seven seven matchup. As Wilt pulls it from inside the paint, not much Oscar can do, but he, he does barely force a miss. Oscar pulls it right in Wilt's face from way downtown. That one will be off the back rim. Inside again, puts in another left-handed hook. That's Wilt. Foot on the line, no good from Robertson. But Oscar needs to take the initiative. He can't keep getting bullied on the inside, and that he does. He rips Wilt, and Ro Wilt recovering the ball. He has no dribble, so he has to just force it up from almost half court. The ball will bounce out of bounds, and finally, a defensive stop from the big O. That's definitely what he'll have to do moving forward. He can't keep letting Wilt just drop in layup after layup over him. He needs to poke the ball loose, make Wilt feel a little uncomfortable. As right now, Wilt's just in his element. Another jumper unsuccessful here as Chamberlain pulls it out, puts down that shoulder that has worked so well for him, and rebounds, of course, coming in abundance for Wilt as he drops in another off of second chance points. And speaking of that, what a surprise, another Layup put in as Wilt is almost halfway there. He's got 10. He needs 21 as Robertson puts in a tough layup. Very tough. Wilt putting up a show on the defensive side of the ball in this video, but 
Robertson shows he's not scared by putting in that layup. Wilt would quickly answer, however, and it looks like he has him stopped on the baseline, but a nice move. Looked like Wilt had him in trouble there as he cut off the baseline, but his defensive efforts were futile there. As a nice up and under move by Oscar, keeping him in the game. Wilt's making that 12 to 9 though, as his layup show would continue in bunches. And on the defensive side of the ball, not much is changing for Mr. Will Chamberlain, as it's now a 13 to 9 game after a block leading to a layup that would make it 14 to 9. Robertson looking for room to the basket, and he gets a layup. Scores 14 to 10. Check that. 15 to 10. Finally, Wilt's getting some separation. No longer are we going back and forth with ties and lead changes, but Oscar bangs that home. The trifecta from the, another area code right in Wilt's mouth, 15 to 12. Maybe that'll be what gets Oscar back in the game. As, you know, if Wilt's gonna keep putting in ones and Oscar's powerless to stop it, he'll have to step out and hit some twos. Another tough layup from Oscar, however. 16 to 13. That bank shot would go from underneath the basket. 17 and 13. Oscar needs some more twos, but instead he continues to drive. A very difficult looking shot right there from the right block goes in. 17 to 14. Make that 18 to 14 as Bolt does what he does best. Using that athleticism and physicality to score over the 6 foot 5 big O. 18 to 15 game after Oscar's layup. Once again, Oscar's just powerless to stop Wilt, and that'll be what ultimately decides this game. But not before Oscar puts in a very crucial two, as that'll be the only way he has a chance to stay in it. He needed to grab that rebound there. He just needs to get any stop he can as Wilt's at game point. And Wilt, once again with another block, He's had 17 total in these last two games. Drops in a layup. He will be your College Legends 1v1 tournament champion. Fueled by 16 blocks overall, Wilt had a very inspired effort to bring home the championship to his name. Is Wilt the best college player of all time? Well, it's hard to argue whenever you win a tournament of this magnitude. To wrap up this video, why don't we look at the bracket overall one time for the road. Leave in the comments your guys' thoughts about the whole tournament. I'm very curious and I want to see your guys' feedback on how you enjoyed it or maybe some parts you didn't so enjoy. Just let me know in the comments and also let me know if you guys want to see something like this in the future. Maybe in a different game in NCAA football, maybe do something similar. Just let me know. If you guys stuck through this entire series, if you binge watched it, if you've been here since I began it, you know, whatever the case may be, thank you so much for watching all these games and I'm very ecstatic of how far this channel's come already. I'm almost to 200 subs already and I just have to say thank you. Until next time, this is College Sports Revived signing off.